This brief tutorial will introduce you to using Libby on a mobile device. Libby is produced by Overdrive and is an easy to use application that requires minimal steps to create an account and access the items that you want to read, listen to, or watch. The following will demonstrate how to create an account, search for items, check them out, and adjust some of your settings. We'll be using an Android mobile phone to demonstrate these steps, but the steps are similar on other mobile devices. The first step is to download the Libby app, which you can find in the App Store on your device. If you search for Libby, Libby by Overdrive will appear. After installing the app and opening it, a screen will appear with a greeting on it. You can select the Hi greeting to begin to set up your account. On the next screen, you'll need to scroll to the bottom of the page to be able to select the Find My Library button. This will trigger a search by the app to identify your geographical location and identify libraries that are near you. A map should appear with library options on it. If you do not see the library you use, you can select the map and zoom in on an area where your library is located, and then select the This Is My Library button. Once you have selected your library, you will then need to enter your library card to create your account, which you can do by selecting the Add Your Card button at the bottom right hand of this screen. This will bring up a page where you can enter your library card number and then select Sign In. After signing in, the following screen will appear where you can scroll through several categories of books, such as cozy mysteries and newly added items. You can also select a specific genre, such as fiction or nonfiction, and browse within these areas. You can search for an item by typing the title, author, or keyword in the search box at the top of the screen. When you find an item of interest, it will give you the option to read a sample and to either place an item on hold or to borrow it. If the item is currently checked out, then you can get on the wait list for the item by selecting the Place a Hold button. When you find an item that is available, you can select the Borrow button to check it out. This will bring up another screen where you can confirm you want to borrow the item by selecting the button at the bottom of the screen. This will borrow the item and automatically download it to your app. The downloading process will use some data, so you will want to make sure that you are either connected to Wi-Fi or don't mind using some of your data. You can select Open the Book to begin immediately streaming the content, or you can go to the shelf and see that once the item is completely downloaded, a red check mark will appear and you will be able to access the item without an internet connection. The item will automatically return itself on the due date. However, if you wanted to return it early, you can select the image of the title and pull up a screen with the option to return the title. To get to the screen to be able to search or browse for more items of interest, you can select the library button in the bottom left corner of the screen, which will take you to the library's home screen. If you wanted to change any of your settings, you can select the three bars at the top right corner of the page. Here, you can select hold notifications to change which email address your hold notifications are sent to, as well as indicate if you don't want holds automatically to be placed when they come available. You can also adjust your download settings, such as if you didn't want everything immediately to download when you borrow it. If you have any questions or need further assistance in using Libby, you can always contact the library and we'll be more than happy to assist you.